rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. I know we all want to make it to heaven for ourselves. Oh, yeah. But we also want to be able to carry somebody else along Amen. with us. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're left here as his yeah. witnesses. Yeah, yeah. If we didn't have a job to do, as soon as we accepted the Lord, he could have zapped us on up out of here. Well. But we've got to work while it is day. Oh, yeah. For the night cometh when no man can work. You know, we look at what's going on in the world today. But it's on us. It's on us. Because in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, the word of God says, if my, we want to blame it all on the sinner. Okay? But the word says, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray. And seek my face and turn from their wicked way. Thank you. Turn from their wicked way. Then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's on us. In Genesis 19, okay, when God saw the wickedness of Sodom and Gomorrah. And he was going to destroy the city. He sent the angels to see if it was as bad as what it looked like coming up before him. Abraham interceded. Yeah, too. And he asked God, would you uh, destroy the righteous along with the wicked? And he took it to God and said, if you find 50 righteous yeah, men, right. would you yeah. spare the city okay. or not destroy it? He took it on down to uh, 45 and then finally got it down to 10 <laughs> and couldn't find 10 righteous people. So that's why it got destroyed. But here we have more righteous people all over the world. And more than 10. You know, so we've got to keep doing the work that we need to do. Oh, yeah. And we're so quick to blame it on what the sinners are doing. Uh huh. But even back in the days in Jesus' time, and before that, back at the beginning of time, you had people worshiping idols. But it was when God's people started worshiping idols that you got in trouble. So we got to do what we got to do. Oh, yeah. Quit passing the blame on them because an unsafe person gonna do what they do. Yes, didn't we? Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got saved. Yes, we did. Uh, we did. Yeah. But God is looking yes, at us. Yes, so okay, true. let's go to Saint so Luke, true. the eighth chapter. Put the focus where it belongs. All right. St. Luke 8, 11 says, now the parable, parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to spread this good news of the gospel all over the world. Amen. And as we make converts, as people are converted to Christ, Amen. then they won't be doing all of those sinful things anymore. Amen. We need to go and make Disciples, yeah, yeah, yeah. St. Mark 16, 15. I did, I did, I, I quoted it real quick. St. Luke 8, 11 says the seed is the word of God. Oh, I just had that one verse. St. Mark 16, 15, and this is the great commission. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and yeah. preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Yeah. And how can they hear without a preacher? Can't do it. How can they preach except Can't they be sent? How can you believe in somebody you never heard of? That's right, that's right. Uh -huh. yeah. But he that believeth not shall be damned. That's right. All these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, my Jesus name. said. In his, yeah, yeah. in his name, in my name, shall they cast out devils. 
they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They have an assignment. We've got one too, that same assignment. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Hallelujah. That commission still stands. It did not end with the, the disciples of Jesus. We're supposed to still, everybody be disciples, those that are saved, a disciple or a learner of Jesus Christ. That's why he said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Oh yeah, it's a learning way. Nobody knows it all. Let's go to St. Luke 14. And we'll begin at verse 12. St. Luke 14, 12. It says, Then said he also to him that bade or invited him. And these are, and Jesus is speaking here. It says, When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also be of thee again, and a recompense, a repayment be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee. For thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. And when one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then said he unto them, A certain man made a great supper and bade or invited many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent, right. of one accord, began right. to make his peace. Right. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, mm -hmm. and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me an excuse. All right. For man can't even lay eyes on them. Uh -huh. <laughs> and another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, right. and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me an excuse. Don't you think he should have proved them first before buying them? Now this one, and another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. He, he just, I, I'm just not coming. Okay, he didn't make his excuse. I'm just not coming. Okay. And that's the way it is sometimes when we invite people to come to the house of God yes. and invite people to come to Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, some people say, I got to get myself together. Yeah, okay. As you all always hear me say, you can't get yourself together. Uh -huh. That If we could, then Jesus, there would have been no need for him to come to save us. You know, and then others just say, I'm not coming. Just not ready. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. And yet there's room. Oh, yeah. There's a song that says there's room oh, at the Lord. cross for, me. for yeah. you. Yeah. Though many have come, yeah. there's yeah. still yeah. room for one. Yeah. There's yeah. room at the cross yeah. for you. Oh, yeah. All right now. There's okay. Room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges All right. and compel them to come in. Hallelujah. Yeah. That my house 
may be filled. And to compel means to drive or urge forcefully or irresistibly. Sometimes we have to just remind people what mm -hmm. times we're living in. That's yes, very true. And let them know they need to run, run for their for lives. lives. For Some are seeing their friends mm -hmm. shot down and mowed down and still yet won't consider what has happened that Lord it could have been there. Yes, yes, yes. And where would I have spent eternity? Yes. My God, my God, my God. Okay, and the irresistible power. To me, that's showing love and kindness. Yes. You just love them on into the kingdom mm -hmm. to where they can't resist. Yes, I heard the testimony of someone was backslidden and one of the mothers was so sweet, she would just call. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And, and touch the heart through that kindness. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you beat up on a person yes. when they are already mm -hmm. down, yes. don't do that. No, no, no. You cannot win people like that. Verse 24 says, For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. We know that Jesus came unto his own. St. John 1, and his own received him not. That's right. St. John 1. He told them, I came just for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He told them when he sent them out, don't go in the way of the Gentiles. Okay? But when they didn't receive him, that gave us a chance yeah, right. to be granted in. Oh, yeah. Because of their unbelief. Yeah. They are still God's chosen people oh, yeah. and a remnant. They will be saved. Because they they're not going to be in unbelief forever. Right. Okay? But through their unbelief, we got a chance. Thank you. It says he came unto his own, St. John 1, 11, and his own received him not, but as many as received him, yes. whoever you are, yes. to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, yes. which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. Yes. And the word was made yes. flesh. Yes. The word that was yes. there in the yes. beginning yes. that said, let there be light, and there was light. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and, and truth. truth. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. But the Lord is seeking to save those that are lost. Yes, they are near and they are dear to his heart. Yes, and we have to have that same care for the lost. Yes. Let's go to Luke 18. Sometimes we lose our focus. And we become inwardly focused yes, about us. Then we forget about those that are out there. Yes, yes, that's true. Yes. But God so loved the world oh, Lord, yes, that yes. he gave his only begotten son. Yes, oh, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes, and yes. God is no respecter of persons. Thank you, Jesus. St. Luke 18, 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Shame on us if we are despising people that aren't saved yet. We were lost in sin one day. Somebody loved us enough to pray for us. They didn't despise us and say, forget them, there ain't no sense in China. No, but they loved us on into the kingdom. I love that some somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. And I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed for me. Like people pray for us, we've got to pray for others and not despise them. Two men went up 
into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee, religious leader, yes. and the other a publican, a tax collector. Yes. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. All right. Uh huh. God, I thank thee mm -hmm. that I am not as other men are uh -huh. extortioners, blackmailers, unjust, unjust. adulterers. Yes. Jesus, help us today. Yes. Or even as this publican, this tax collector, he was despising. Uh -huh. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. I God have mercy today. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote or beat up on his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be obeyed. And he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. We gotta humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt us in due time. There you go. Hallelujah to his name. Yes, but we can't be like the Pharisee despising those that yes, are lost yes, because yes. they are dear and near yes, to Jesus' heart. That is so true. And John 5, 44 says, how can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only. Okay. We got to be careful that we're not trying to receive honor from folks that are already saved. Right. And not reaching out to the ones that need our help. Yes. And that need help yes. from the Lord. Yes. Yes. That's the, we can get caught up in that trap. Yes. Yes. And we got to shake ourselves loose. Yes. Uh huh. Thank you, Jesus. Get our focus back. St. John 4, 35 through 38. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to start at 34. Jesus saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. That's what we should be about. Yeah. Doing the will of God and to finish the work that he assigned for our hands to do. And I'm like the Apostle Paul in Acts. I want to finish my course with joy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Say not ye, they are yet four months. Yeah. Keep putting it off now. And then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white, all white already to harvest. Yes, and he that reapeth receiveth wages and gathereth fruit unto life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. Yes, bringing in the sheaves. Oh, yes. We shall come rejoicing. Bringing, bringing in the sheaves. And herein is that same truth. One soweth and another reapeth. Jesus said, I sent you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labor. Other men labored and ye are entered into their labors. Okay. Sometimes when you go to witness to a person, yes. you will be confirming what others have already said. Yeah. Yeah. And it, they may just need that word from you to make up their mind to come on in and give their heart to the Lord. So saints, the heart, there are so many unchurched, unsaved people out there. Yes, yes, yes. I love fellowship. Yes. We're supposed to fellowship with one another right. as yes. believers. Yes. But we shouldn't just do just that. We've got to go out and bring them in. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. How many people yes. cross your path yes. when you're out and about? Yes. Yes. Think about it. I try to encourage you. Yes, carry some daily bread. Yes. 
And if you see somebody and you feel led, hand it to them. Especially if there's someone seeking alms. I don't encourage you to do it when they're out on the street corners because that's dangerous for that person and for the one stopping their car. And so I just pray, you know, for them that God will show them a better way. Okay? And he will make a way for them. Matthew 9, beginning at verse 9. And uh, Ashley, I'll cut out what, uh, thank you for recording, I'll cut out what needs to be cut out. I just want to make sure I get the word out. Bringing in the sheaves. Matthew 9, verse 9, says, And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. Right. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? See, they did not have a heart for the Lord. Right. We have to be so careful that we don't get a religious spirit. The Pharisees had a religious yeah, spirit. Yeah, yeah. They were self-righteous mm -hmm. and despised others. Uh -huh. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, well, but they that are sick. All right. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not called I'm not come to call the righteous, well, but sinners to repentance. All right. Thank you, Jesus. I was one of those sinners well, so that I came am. to repentance. Yeah, yeah. And there's a song that says, but I'm glad I'm one of them, one of, the one day, of the saints day, today. today. I once was lost in sin, yeah. but thank you, Jesus, for taking me in. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Yeah. So we've got to be careful yeah. and mindful that we are not despising others. St. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew 13 24. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. A tear is a weed that looks like wheat. All right. Yeah. Uh huh. But it's not. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. Okay? Those are professing to be believers, but they're not. Counterfeit, hypocrites. Okay? So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy have done this. Amen. The servant said unto him, Without then that we go and gather them up. But he said, Nay or no, this why you gather up the tares. Ye root up also the wheat with them. Let them both grow together yeah. until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn. There's more hope for a sinner than a hypocrite. Yes, it is now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. If you don't have it together, don't pretend you got it together. That's it. That's it. I remember That's when it. I was working on the nurses unit over at Williams Chapel. And this one evangelist spoke over there. And after the service, she was trying to encourage me to continue on. I had to tell her, I am not saved. Okay? Because I wasn't at the time. Okay. 
Okay? And you cannot live saved until you are saved. That's it. And I didn't want her to think that I was saved. Suppose she saw me out there doing something I had no business right. doing. Right. Right. She would redeem me, right? A hypocrite. So until I got saved, I wasn't proud of it, but I let people know I'm not right. saved yet. Right. I did not want to bring reproach upon the church. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Okay? Now, it's a growing way. Baby, what do babies do? They stumble. They stumble. But they you keep going on. Yeah, like, they can go. get back up and yeah. walk again. Yeah. Okay? But that's about a hypocrite is somebody that they know they're not going to live right. No. But I'm going to pretend that I'm one of them. Yeah. We don't want to be in that predicament. No, no. Hallelujah to no, no. his name. Right. We don't no, want to no. do that. No. You know, just make your calling and election sure. Yes. And the Bible says, choose you this day who you're going to serve. Yes. The Bible also says no man can serve two masters. Do it. Lord. You do just it. cannot do it. Do you got to make a choice who you are going to serve. Yeah. I thank God for Ashley. I thank God for our young people. Yeah. Just keep yeah. on yeah. hearing, coming in, hearing oh, yes. the word of God. Yeah. You know, some yeah. people believe that an unsaved person can't do anything in the church. Yeah. Well, that's not my testimony. No, no. Pastor Williams, the late Pastor Williams, had enough wisdom, godly wisdom, yeah. Yeah. to know that if she gave me something to do, yeah. I would be there to do it and I would hear that word. That's it. That's it. And how in faith comes by hearing. Yeah. And hearing by the word of God. You can come and hearing the word of God. And it's just a matter of time until you find yourself giving your heart to the Lord. It's just a matter of time. We're going to end with St. Luke 15. But we need to bring them in. I loved what Ashley said last week about the ones that she sees out that she's inviting to come in. You know, that grew up here as children. You know, keep inviting them. Come on in this house. As the song say, come on in this house because it's going to rain after a while. It's going to rain down the Oh, God. Oh, yeah. St. Luke 15. One through seven, and I'll be done. You know, we uh, talk about how fast time is passing. Oh, yes. Sister Patrick mentioned it this morning. Uh, it's like we were just here, and we're back in another Sunday. Mm -hmm. If you can't see that time is winding oh, up, it's because you don't want to see. Just be ready when Jesus yes, comes. Yes. If you say, stay saved. Amen. St. Luke 15, 1 says, Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man received his sinners. Are we glad that Jesus is a friend of yes. sinners? Yes. He yes. received yes. sinners. And eat it with them, and he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth he not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find it? And when he had found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. Oh, how Jesus loves us. He said, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Jesus has a heart for sinners. We gotta have a heart for sinners. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we want them to know the joy of the Lord. Thank you. Come on, invite them. Come follow me. 
You know, come on in this house. It's gonna rain after a while. I pray that this world, this word reaches far and near. But saints, we got a work to do. You know, and people are blaming the state of the world on the sinners. But we've got to look at what we are doing. Because he said if we would humble ourselves, pray, seek his face, turn from our wicked ways, then you will heal the land. Quit passing the book. Jesus is not up there hating on saved people. No, 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 no. Because he loved everybody so much that he died on the cross for everybody. He is warning sinners to come unto him. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. And learn of me, for I'm meek and lowly in heart. You shall find rest for your soul. Jesus is the answer for the world today. As the song says, above him, there's none other. Jesus is the way. When you run across people that are about to lose their minds because they can't afford this, they can't afford that, they're worried about laws that are being passed and they're just at their wits end. But somebody needs to tell them Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. He is the way. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. Point people to Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody that can help us. Hallelujah. So saints of God, let's get on our job. Bring in the sheep. We can do better. I think it was the late Bishop Spade said, we're going to do better. Okay, we're going to do better. Because the time is winding up. Let's be about our father's business. That's what Jesus said. No, you're not. I must be about my father's business. Saints, let's get on duty. And give God the glory. Hallelujah. It's all about Jesus. Not about us. But saints, people just try to point people to Jesus. Give them the word, but also invite them. Come on in this house so they can hear the word of God. Because after they, if you lead them to Christ, they still have to be taught they do. the yes, word of God. Oh, yes. But saints, let's, let's realize time yes. is short. Oh, God. We've got to get busy. Yes. We want to hear God say to us, yes. well done, oh, thou good and yes. faithful servant. Yes. You've been faithful over a few yes. things. I'll make you ruler over yes. many. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. God bless you and I love you. We're now in the hands of Minister Maria. Thank you. Well, let's give God a hand clap. Come on. Give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. I recommend Jesus. We recommend Jesus because he is the best thing that ever happened to us. Is he good to you? Is he good to you? Hallelujah. I recommend Jesus. He is that kind of a friend. He walks right beside you. He always guides you. So I recommend Jesus because he is. Good word, bring it in the sheep. Bring it in the sheep. We should come rejoicing, bring it in the sheep. That's why we recommend Jesus here in the Sabbath, Echo. Yeah. Yeah. Avenue in the city of Lansing. We praise God for the word of God this morning that was preached under the power of the Holy Ghost.
Ghost, take it to heart. Take it to heart. That we recommend Jesus. And he will cause us to bring in the sheep. We have the announcements here for our conference call number. It is 667-770-1373. Access code is 274-487 and the number pound. Call those numbers on Tuesdays at 12 o'clock with their prayer. On Wednesdays, we're there at 6 o'clock with our Bible study. And on Friday night, that same conference number, we're there at 6 o'clock with praise and worship service. If you don't have a place to go worship on Sunday morning, we're here at 1916 Old Avenue. We're at the corner of Everett and Olds Avenue, sitting up on top of the hill, giving God the praise. So come on out and visit with us. We'll be happy to see you, and you're more than welcome. The Word of God is a lamp to your feet and a light to your pathway. God bless you until we see you again. God bless. God bless. Amen.